I wanted to share my memories of September 11th, 2001, a day that changed America forever. It is hard to believe that it has already been 12 years because I can remember that day very well. It is also hard to believe that none of you were alive. You don't have memories, just stories. That Tuesday was a happy morning at my house. My parents were celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary and had plans to go out that night. I was a freshman in high school, not yet old enough to drive. My mom had dropped, my dad had dropped me off at school like any other normal day. I will never forget sitting in my algebra class wondering where my teacher was. Miss McCarthy was never late. When she came into the room and told us all to bow our heads and pray, I had no idea what was going on. She told us that a plane had hit one of the World Trade Center buildings. I had no idea what this building was or even where it was. At first, everyone thought it was a terrible accident. It wasn't until I got to my next class, Spanish, when we had the TV on and saw the second plane hit. That was when it started to sink in that this was no accident. Then, word came that a third plane had hit the Pentagon in Washington. Still another plane crashed into a field in Pennsylvania. I remember being scared and just wanting to be with my family. There was a fear that more planes would hit more places all over the United States. My brother had left for Purdue just a month earlier, and I was scared about what was happening there. That is the thing about terrorism. It truly brings terror to people. I had to make it through the rest of my school day, but classes were pretty much called off. There were TVs on in every classroom and in the hallways. People were sitting, watching the story unfold, just crying in small groups everywhere. My school had a church attached to it, and they held a service during the afternoon. When my dad picked me up after school, he just hugged me and told me we would be okay. In the days that followed, you could feel people coming together. Even though there was a sadness and fear, there was an overwhelming sense of pride in the U.S. and an outpouring of love for strangers who needed help. Even though the terrorists may have succeeded in causing fear for a short time, in the end, they only made Americans more determined, proud, and grateful. It is important to take each year to take time each year on September 11th to reflect on what the events of that day me meant to our country. Many brave people lost their lives that day trying to save total strangers. Today is Patriot's Day as we remember what it means to be an American.